why was it important for you both to be a part of such an explosive documentary that is quite on the set? The main reason why the both of us comfortably came forward was to advocate for better safety and laws for child actors. Yeah. Let's talk about your relationships with Brian Peck. Drake Bell has accused him of being the one that was sexually assaulting him brutally yeah. um, throughout his teen and well, childhood and teen years. We, we were, were extremely very close, close to him. <laughs> yeah, to Brian. He was our, our- He was our dialogue coach. Yeah, he was our dialogue coach. He was the go-between. We yeah. would run lines with him all the time. We yeah. were, he was there. He was very much involved wow. and extremely close to all of us in some capacity. Yeah. You know, whether it be in a professional or even after set, we yeah. we, we were invited to his house for parties yeah. and, and things. But again, we were all under this naive cloak of we're a family, we all hang out. This is this is normal, this is common, let yeah. that an adult would want to be friends with initially a child. Yeah. My mom did raise concern for Brian. There was a time where uh, we took a picture and I'm pretty sure you see this photo in the documentary of him uh, him and I just kind of hugging and you know side he by side. Your head. He bit me on the head. Yeah. He called me his little chocolate drop or something like that and bit me on the top of my head. My mom took that picture and got the camera developed and was completely weirded out and said something she was very vocal so we went to set the next day and she was like you put your teeth on my son's head and just to, and just to call attention to the weird behavior so she was always doing that and i did feel very protected by her finding out how incredibly vicious and, and rough that whole situation was for drake and his family what was your first reaction it was absolutely devastating yeah because again we all work together, we see each other, we we did promos and things and red carpet we, events. Right, red yeah. carpet events. So you you have this sense of camaraderie with other shows or other casts and to see that that you were going through all of that and then have to go back to work the next day. Yeah. I I felt for him so hard. Absolutely. And it it just it just solidified a lot of things that I had thought about or inferred or in tune, had an intuition linkling of, yeah. but it confirmed it when he popped up on the screen. Can you talk to me about your relationships with Dan Snyder? I did watch the, the documentary and I know Brian, um, you and your mom kind of said that he was a little leery of you. Like there was not, you guys weren't close. So there wasn't a lot of conversation between him and I. Um, there wasn't a closeness and I did see a lot of favoritism. So it just felt yeah. like, if he was uncomfortable being his comfortable, weird self around me, then he was just gonna di direct the energy toward the other kid. I felt okay. I felt good about that. I didn't want to be close to him. <laughs> yeah, I was intimidated by him because of that. I did not have a close relationship with him, mainly because I was I wanted to do a good job. I wanted to to do my job. Yeah. The the point. <laughs> we would really like to drive for a lot of parents yeah. is be present you know let your kid be a kid first yeah. and you be a parent yeah you know you if you have a feeling if you have that gut yeah say something yeah. it is okay because you're going you're going to protect your kid in the long run and that's what you need to do